Hi there, it's Sandy. And last week on Instagram, I showed a little sort of, I guess, slide demo. I call it tiny tutorials with just little pictures. I showed how to make this face of a sun. And I thought I'd do something a little similar here. If you're going to make a sun and you want to make all of the rays coming out of it even, then you could mark off horizontally the center and vertically the center and then the quadrants, you know, just break it into however many sun rays you want to make it even. But the face is going to be the thing I'm going to concentrate on here. Drawing a face that is not anatomically correct, but it's very much like an illustrative type of sun. And that's what I wanted for this verse in numbers. I started by making a horizontal type of line for the eyes going up and making the eyebrows come around and join for the bridge of the nose. And then the nose has one section in the center and two on either side, depending on how big you want to make the nose. And then don't forget to leave room for the, the mouth. A lot of times I end up drawing my nose too low and have to erase it and start over. And the lips, when you're doing something that is illustrative like this, you could just go for the width of the nose or a little bit bigger than the width of the nose to make that happen. And then for the eyes, when you put eyes in anything, any drawing any realistic eyes, the actual iris of the eye, the, you know, the part that you see, it's a round ball. And if you don't pull the eyebrows from the top and the bottom close in on that round circle, you're going to end up with something that looks like it's staring at you with bug eyes. So that's what I did. I, I drew the full circle and then cut it down with the eyebrows so that then I'm only drawing the portion on the left and right hand side. I started out by doing the sun rays this way. I was going to do it so it looked kind of like a flower as well. By the time I ended up finishing it, I decided to just skip that and not really mess with it at all. And I erased all those lines. Uh, the eraser that I had out here was just one that happened to be sitting on my desk. It's called a stick eraser. It's from Tombow. I'll put a link to it in the description down below. Um, most of my description is just my main list of all the supplies, but if there's anything weird that I use in a particular video, I try to include that. And if I ever don't, then feel free to leave a comment and let me know. I do read comments on even old videos, so happy to help you out if there's a supply that you're like, what the heck is that thing? So the, the Tombow stick eraser just happened to be out. It, it just operates like a stick. It's like a long eraser inside of a holder and that sort of thing. It's not always my favorite thing, but it was close at hand. So for the rest of the sun, it's just a matter of shading the face any way that you want. And I decided to build up some shadows around the outside and then within the the eyebrow above the eyebrows of the the face a little bit around the bottoms of the chin to make the the cheeks stand out and end up lighter and then the lips uh, lips the top shape of the lip is an m shape and it's always darker than the bottom of the lip which seems weird but you always want the darker color on the top so there you go <laughs> weird things about the, the human face. And even though this is an illustrative face, not an actual human face in its proportions, the principle still applies. So I'm using Gamsol and a uh, blending stump to move the color around. And that just blends it all nicely. It does dry with no, uh, no oily stuff on the back. A few weeks, well, a few weeks, month, Maybe a few months ago, I talked about it. I tested both baby oil and Gamsol. And I had always thought, I mean, I think I tried once using some Gamsol and it left an oily stain. But maybe I was really using baby oil at that time because I've always had thought that, uh, that both Gamsol and baby oil did the same, but they didn't. So I now use Gamsol in my Bible because it works so nicely. Next up is adding details to this. You can add as much or as little detail as you want. There's always a shadow under the eyelids on top of the, the color of the eye. It gives it a little bit of realism. I'm going to use some darker colors to just put more into the features themselves. 
and you can use the Gamsol over and over again. You can, you know, put more color, do, do more blending, do more color, do more blending. I'm not going to go crazy with it in this particular instance. I'm just going to put a little bit down to make the, the eyes a little bit curved up on the outside edges. And as I said, I did remove the crazy flower petals because it was just looking more like a sunflower than a sun. And I did a really easy technique for doing the sun itself. Now you could do a sun without a face in it and do this particular technique for the rays. And it just comes out really easily. It's so simple to do. And especially I know a lot of you guys do Bible journaling at your church or with your Bible study group or something, and you're looking for techniques, this is a great one for that because everybody can be really successful with it. Just put down a bunch of colors that are analogous colors. So you can do this for a night sky with all kinds of blues and purples, or you can do it here with a bunch of yellows and oranges for sun rays because it'll work the same. And analogous colors are next to each other on the color wheel. They're very similar to each other. If you suddenly threw another color in here, you'd have some more trouble with the blending, but I'm going to show you a really easy way to get this to blend and look amazingly perfect together. That same Gamsol, I'm dipping into it with a Swisper, and it's basically a makeup pad, a cotton makeup pad, and moving the color around and just smooshing over top of it. It is so easy and it works really beautifully. The supplies are nice and cheap. One bottle of Gamsol for your Bible journaling group and a little pack of Swispers and you're good to go. You could do all kinds of night rays with this. Make a, a Christmas page with the North Star and all of the blue and purple rays coming down and it would be just gorgeous. Now here's another tip for you as well. I sketched out with a piece of tracing paper the kind of text that I wanted to do because I wanted something around the face of the sun. And so I wanted the Lord bless on the top and keep you on the bottom. But I wanted to find a way. I couldn't see through to this. I, if I had made the text blacker on the tracing paper, I probably could have. But what I decided to do was to draw it out, sketch it out in the watercolor pencil or in the ink tense pencils. Same kind of colors that I used for everything else. And then go over it with the micron pens, which... You know, once that dries, you can go over it with Gamsol and remove all of the lines that were underneath of it. So it's a really great way to cheat and give yourself some outlines to trace with your lettering and then be able to remove them. I was being a little dainty because I wasn't positive that everything was perfectly dry because I'd worked on this pretty quickly, but then added the rest of the verse at the bottom and bada boom, done. So I hope this was enjoyable for you to watch that you might try it yourself. And I will see you guys again next time. Take care. God bless you.